this arrived today. The Raspberry Pi Zero Complete Starter Kit from Pimeroni in Sheffield. Let's unbox it and let's take a look at the Raspberry Pi itself. It is a, a shield bag. Let's pop it open. It needs a little bit of encouragement to get out. It's fairly snug in there. And once you do get it out, you'll see that it's actually quite small. Let's take a look and see what we have here. Uh, you've got the SD card slot, just there, HDMI output, uh, the CPU itself, and you have um, OTG and the power. And the header are there, four pins, a 40 pin header. Uh, let's take a look at the case that came with the starter pack in this very fancy, almost a sweet wrapper type bag. The case is made up of a number of uh, plastic parts. Uh, these are uh, numbered and of course they have the uh, little bit of covering on them to uh, protect them from when they're being cut. Uh, they are numbered as I said um, but you can visually see it as it goes from uh, darker to lighter in, in, in color as the order that goes in and of course there's uh, some screws to hold it all together. You might have seen um, this starter kit also contains an adapter kit that's to um, give you, you know, standard HDMI output, uh, your USB ports, and um, most of the um, bags and packaging you can just uh, pop it open. But this one you need to actually uh, take some tools to it, aka scissors. And once you have this open you'll see the um, additional header pins and the uh, adapter for the USB so the USB on the go plugs in there and this is our um, HDMI to micro HDMI uh, adapter Let's pop it out there and it slots in nicely. This is the power, the, the, the power adapter that comes with it comes with a number of uh, plug uh, attachments for different countries, uh, US, Europe and uh, New Zealand, Australia it would appear. So that's the components pretty much uh, assembled for the Raspberry Pi Zero itself. Uh, you have the SD card needs to go in there, obviously with the um, reader part down. And the uh, the card uh, comes with noobs, but we'll find it. We'll have to um, reinstall that later. And now I'll explain why we have to reinstall uh, the noobs that comes up. But let's have a look at the case itself. As I said, we started um, with a darker color. And as you can see, the, um, there's a, sort of an L shape there uh, with the headers to help you orientate it. When putting things together like this, uh, I find it easier just to put a couple of the uh, screws in place. Um, I assembled this later and decided to put the, uh, t the screws the other way around. Uh, but as you can see, it's fairly intuitive for um, figuring out which, which parts uh, go in. As I said, you work from darker uh, to the lighter. You'll also notice that I haven't taken the uh, protective uh, 
covers off of these uh, bits of plastic yet. The next challenge now is uh, getting these tiny screws uh, or bolts, I should say, or nuts uh, onto the uh, bolts. They're a little bit fiddly. Uh, they, if you make the mistake of uh, accidentally putting them on at the wrong angle, uh, it can pr prove to be problematic. Uh, and again, they're very soft plastic, and of course, <laughs> they're very small, so uh, make sure you put them in a place where um, it's easy to find them, and they, they don't roll off the table or your desk or whatever. And it's simply a case of hand tightening them. Um, anything more, you know, it doesn't really pay any um, respect to the plastic threads. And it's a it's a neat little finish. You can see the uh, power. I'm not so sure you can actually see that, but uh, there is, or there are some markings on the um, on the clear plastic uh, to indicate which one was power and which one is uh, your USB OTG port. And they all just slot it easily. So there it is. Uh, Unbox the uh, starter kit with the um, the case, uh, the power adapter, and um, different adapters. And here it is uh, connected up to the TV. And I, I'm using a, a Logitech wireless uh, keyboard. Uh, I'm not using the power adapter in this case because I'm just taking the USB power um, off of the TV. And as you can see, uh, the light is on. Um, the green light flashes when the SD card is being accessed. Uh, but the SD card didn't, um, didn't work uh, for me the first time. So I went off and downloaded the uh, Noob's um, that says 1.4, but it was actually 1.5, um, and went through the, just copying the, or sorry, reformatting the uh, SD card and um, copying the Noobs 1.5 version, which I think was built in, in or released in November, uh, and the files that were on the previous one, um, were from I think uh, earlier in in 2015. So um, as you can see here, the I, I took the the casing off. Uh, it is uh, flashing every time it, it's accessing the SD card, and the uh, the noobs uh, installation for uh, Raspbian is is just proceeding along. It takes uh, quite some time. Uh, I've I've cut through some of the um the video on this uh so that you're not just watching uh an ins installation the the overall process you know uh of trying to get the latest um noobs uh, and and so on was reasonably straightforward i mean if you if you've done anything with the raspberry pi before um that won't be a big uh, issue and there's plenty of other videos online for that so as you can see it um, installed and now it's uh, rebooting. The single Pi picture there shows that it's a, it has a single core. Um, there are specs online for um, how fast uh, this is. Uh, the Raspberry Pi Zero is a, a one gigahertz um, processor, but there's only one core to it. Um, so the a more re the more recent Raspberry Pi uh, 2 Model 2 a B uh, is uh, has a much higher spec. So as you can see there, uh, it starts up and it's reasonably straightforward for shutting down. So that's it. That's the Raspberry Pi Zero unboxed, assembled, uh, started up and shut down.